if you could please introduce yourself and uh, what company you're with. Uh, my name's Rob Butterworth. I work for Chrome Studios. I'm the lead technical artist there. I've got a team of nine technical animators, shader writers, and pipeline engineers. Okay. Uh, so, when did you first realize you were morphing into a technical artist from your original role, and what was the original role that you filled? So, the, the first role that I started with was uh, level design, a level creation, and it was working one weekend that I realized that I needed to get the assets into game, and there was no one around, so I dabbled with some Mac script and bypassed that person, went straight into the game. That's when I knew I could automate everything and uh, it wouldn't be so much of a headache. That's pretty neat. So can you provide an example from a recent project you worked on that uh, required your particular skills as a technical artist to solve? The, the latest one that I worked on was the Guardians of, or the Legends of the Guardians of Gahul, uh, the OWL game, as we refer to it. Um, we needed to make some tools which auto-generated uh, level terrain, and uh, I, I wrote some tools in Maya, in Python, to auto uh, subdivide the levels and uh, separate them into the correct overlays for, for game loading. Wow. Now, did you come from the art side of the house or the programming side of the house? I came from the art side. I, um, in, in high school, I did art. I did do mathematics, but uh, I found art to be a bit more of an enjoyable subject. Later to find out that I needed mathematic, the mathematical side to, be, uh, to do TA work. Okay. And uh, so how much and what kind of self-directed learning did becoming an effective TA involve? For me, uh, the learning that I learnt was all on the job. It was discovering um, what paths I needed to learn in the actual tool set. So Max was my uh, tool set that I started on originally and it was through uh, necessity that I learnt everything that I've learnt. Wow. Um, so like what types of mathematics you, you refer to it, what, what types of mathematics do you regularly use in your job? What are you using kind of on a day-to-day -day basis? I didn't think I'd need it but uh, matrix math is extremely important. So I do a lot of uh, matrix math and uh, vector work. Um, obviously 3D requires vector work and, and matrix uh, modifications. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the main one. Okay. Did you get any like really far out there math that you've also had to learn for like, you know, a specific task on a specific project or is, is it all pretty much at the, the matrix linear algebra level? The, um, it's, it's usually that, that, that kind of linear algebra that I learnt, uh, but there were some specific occasions where I had to um, learn some more in depth, some, um, some mathematics based on papers from SIGGRAPH, um, but for that I got some help from some programmers to make sure that I was getting, getting it all right. Fantastic. So what kind of low-level technical concepts have they had to kind of grok coming from the art side, you know, like things that you maybe weren't trained to, but you, you had to teach yourself in order to have a deep understanding of the, uh, you know, the pipeline or maybe shaders or, or something. Yeah, um, obviously getting into the, the hardware of PlayStation, the Xbox um, and the Wii was uh, a necessity for us. Um, so I, I learnt a lot of low level um, I learned a lot, low, a lot of low-level things like uh, how long things took to render, how expensive uh, uploading textures to uh, video memory, and the specifics of each console. Okay. Well, okay. Um, so, um, if there was one thing you could tell academics about the role of a technical artist, what would it be? The number one thing would be be flexible and learn on the job. You need to, this is a list really, isn't it? Okay. Um, communicate and be flexible. Okay. Anything else you want to say then, since you have the list, just, just keep right on going. Okay. Um, to be an effective technical artist, you need to be a good communicator. You need to um, understand and problem solve and 
learn how to learn because you do a lot of learning and a lot of um, discovery.